Hey guys, welcome to Share Inspirations. I wanted to give you a quick tour before I cut uh, the flowers so I could show you what's where. Um, last tour I gave, it did not have the flowers on the plants because I had done a cutting. So I wanted to do this before I go and cut. So let's get started from here. So these are my um, illusion uh, dahlias. There's a couple more buds on there. I also have a uh, bleeding heart, which is right here. Um, this is a red bleeding heart with um, the white little uh, droplets. And I also have a pink one. It hasn't come up yet, but um, let's see here. I got the renunculus. You can see them coming up right there. All of these little green thingies that you see are ranunculus coming up. I had planted these on October 8th, so almost about a month ago. Um, these guys uh, are known to take a little bit of time. This is my white rose bush. Right here is the anemone, uh, Mr. Fokker anemone. This is purple blue flowers that it produces. Um, here I have some uh, flocks that I have planted a while ago. It's, it's, it's still very small and I'm assuming that it's going to take a while before it actually um, gets going. It's probably a spring uh, flowering for me here. Back there you see the uh, hellbores actually now coming up with the little um, growth <laughs> finally um, that's that took a while planted it down in uh, 26th of September and here I have some of my pink and white rose this is a floribunda kind of rose um, however it has decided on that end that it's going to do one flower or for a long stem which is um, great for me for cutting. Right here is where I've planted some orange flowering ginger. I also have some uh, purple bearded irises in the back. Um, this is my super fragrant uh, purple rose bush that you see flowers from. I, if, standing right here I can smell these guys. Every time I pass this I can smell it. So that's you can imagine how strong it truly is. Um, Right there is my Cleopatra canna that I planted not too long ago. Also have the uh, uh, Autumn Joy sedum. I planted this and I um, video I filmed it for you guys. My canna Tropicana. Um, let's see, a hollyhock over there. I also wanted to show you the divisions of cone flowers that I had planted. Look how great they're doing, right there, and right, there. Okay, the camera angle is not uh, picking up because of light. Um, these are the two out of a whole bunch that I did that actually took root and are starting to show signs of growth and new leaves and everything. The rest of them, too bad, so sad, didn't do much, but that's okay because I was looking for <laughs> one plant um, each and I got it. I got one green-eyed Susan and I got one purple purple coneflower. Um, let's see here. I have planted some, this is a surprise iris that I had planted from um, a plant exchange that I got. And uh, she said it's supposed to be a shade of purple. It hadn't flowered for her yet, so she doesn't know for sure. But um, then I have the uh, magic lilies, the balladuna lilies. If you notice, I now have the uh, door shims as plant identifiers. And I'm trying this out to see how well these would do um, before starting to recommend these to you guys. Because my the 
tongue depressors or the popsicle sticks if you want to call them. Um, they last about two months before they get weathered out and broken and whatever. So um, not, not a good idea if you want to plant a perennial. This is a black eyed Susan right here. Came from a wildflower mix. I also have a wild river lilac that I had planted from a mail order. Um, I also have a cigar plant back there and um, my morning glory has seen better days. I have uh, harvested the seed from it and it's done for the season. I'm just waiting for some seeds to dry out before I take out the vine because I have actually planted a pink passion vine right here. Um, and I also have a ruby glow passion vine. What I want to do is have all these passion vines around this tree and wrap it around. See how that works out. This is my zinnia patch. All sorts of uh, crazy colored zinnias coming up. Um, pink one, orange one. And let's see, this is calendula. All of these um, Dutch irises are coming back. Some of my daffodils are up already. These are from last year. Um, right here I have planted some uh, Louisiana irises that are doing great showing new growth and everything and let's see let's go on just to show you the colors of my zinnias so you got a yellow one a pink one a orange one um yeah possible colors i took the, some of the packets and i direct seeded these in may um got those from the dollar tree and uh they have been going for me since October. They started in September actually, but um, really started going in October. So I had the entire month of October until first frost. I don't see frost coming until um, the the next 10 day weather, which is uh, the 18th of November. I don't see any frost. Last year around this time, around 18th of November is when I had frost. So um, if I could not get frost for another couple of weeks, like saying into December, I would be very grateful because I would then have my zinnias. I do also have zinnias in my uh, cold frame in the backyard so I would have some protected ones from frost um, so I could have them kind of an extended season. Here is a marigold I finally flowered. This is a Cracker Jack uh, marigold variety. It's supposed to get a little bit taller. Um, so far this is it. I hear that they are also taken out by frost but I'm not sure. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I have a whole bunch of um, Indian Chief irises planted right here um, and as you can see all of these uh, the lady was so kind she sent me about 20 of them um, so I have those I have these crocosmias right here that are going um, there's a hibiscus back there there is a primrose right here again this is one of those hasn't flowered yet I'm not sure if it's going to flower after the frost or is it going to be taken out one of those uh we'll figure it out when uh when it decides to flower for me i planted some watsonias and i forgot about them um because it didn't do anything for me apparently they have decided they are going to come back and um they are right here right there um some right there so where i had planted the indian chief irises there's about five bulbs that i had planted last year that kind of uh didn't do anything and that was partially my own fault because i planted them um 31st of december um in 2016 i believe and uh, that was too late too late to plant um those types of bulbs that needed to be planted in fall which is right now and a little bit earlier would work too. So here's something as a showstopper that I wanted to show you. This beautiful Karma Dahlia that has come up. Um, it's a peach color, orange and uh, yellow, a little bit of pink. Beautiful, beautiful Dahlia. <clears throat> the other, I have three plants total. This is the only one that has flowered so far. The other, uh, that one has, the one in the back has buds on it but this one does not maybe next year um, we're too close the reason why i say next year is because we're too close to a frost and uh no flowers yet so maybe we'll have uh, much stronger plants next year here is my um bearded purple iris whole bunch of those 
I also have some guacamole hosta that I had planted. Um, this, in my previous video, I remember I accidentally called this guy a rose bush. This is actually a butterfly bush. If I can get a better angle to show you. Um, produces purple flowers and super fragrant. Um, cut them for bouquets, of course. Uh, right here, you also see those little uh, twine little thingies, um, very thin twig. Those are the uh, Dutch irises coming up from last year that I had planted. Um, so yeah, this was the tour of the garden before I did the cutting. <laughs> so you actually see what flowers are where. Um, and I'll be sure to do one when I have more things that are flowering that are currently just, for example, Dutch irises. Um, something I do have to remember to remind myself is I have to do a recording before I do a cutting because then you, I'll be able to show you what's where. Alright guys, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.